Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Winnie Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by to encourage us to look in the mirror. Amen. So listen, how often do we look in the mirror? And I would venture to say at least once a day, we all look in the mirror just to make sure that we're presentable, right? And then so there's some though, probably not none of you guys, but some people that you may know, right? There's some people that look in the mirror to admire themselves. Amen. They look in the mirror to admire themselves. They want to check out and see if the, all the work that they're doing at the gym is, is actually paying off, right? How good that they're looking, right? Um, maybe a new hairstyle that they're rocking to see if it's fitting them better than the last one or what have you, right? And so, but to, on the other side of that though, you do have some people who look in the mirror and, um, and they look in the mirror and they, they, they feed off of their insecurities. And I'm pretty sure we probably all have been both of these people. Amen. They feed off their insecurities. And so they look in the mirror and see themselves as too short too tall, too skinny, too fat, you know, too light, too dark, right? Not pretty enough, whatever the case may be, right? And so you see, the mirror is not just another household item, right? It's something that affects us internally as well as externally. So when we look good in the mirror, we feel good, right? And so how many of us though, or feel confident or proud when we look in the mirror, we, we can see that all that work that we've been doing, right, when we're exercising in the gym, hitting the gym hard, then we can actually see that the work is paying off, right? So we, we feel good. We're confident. We're proud. We feel good, right? Because we, we look good. Amen. But then we have some. How many of us that look in the mirror and feel ashamed or unhappy, right, because of what they see in the mirror? Now, with all that being said, I would like to, I, I believe that we can look at the word of God as like a mirror. Amen. So when we look in the word of God called the Bible, obviously, um, we have to begin to answer or ask ourselves questions such as, am I a doer of the word or am I just a reader or hearer of the word? Amen. Am I a faithful um, believer to the Lord? Am I a good and faithful servant to God and his kingdom? Right. Do I seek first the kingdom of God or am I really bearing good fruit? Amen. Amen. James 1 and 23 through 25 says anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in, the, in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. So notice scripture says, the Bible says that if you listen to the word and don't obey, it's like glancing at your face in a mirror and you walk away and you immediately forget what you look like. You see, when we look at God's word and apply it to our life, the mirror, which is the word of God, right? In this case, um, will begin to show us, right? That we have some pride. We have some things that we need to deal with, right? We have some pride in our hearts, right? We may have some unforgiveness or some anger, some jealousy, some envy or whatever the case may be, right? And so the mirror, the word of God, it reveals where we fall short and where Christ can make us whole. So the mirror, again, which is the word of God, it also reveals the beauty of Jesus Christ, but then it also reveals the, um, the harsh reality of sin, right? Amen. So let's look in the mirror and let's look in the mirror often. Amen. And so let's look in the mirror, which again is the word of God and examine ourselves, right? Based on the standard that is in God's word. Amen. And so when we're praying, when we're approaching the throne of grace, let's just keep in mind that um, the mirror, which is the word of God, the Bible, the mirror shows us how far God has brought us. Amen. God has brought us all from a mighty, mighty long way. Let that be the reflection that we see or how far God has brought us, right? and where we need to allow him to touch our lives all the more again to make us whole amen so when we're when we're praying 
We can say a short prayer, something like this. I mean, just, just something like this. Let's say a short prayer. And it says, Father God, in the name of Jesus, help us to look into the mirror, that which is your word, amen, and examine ourselves according to your word, Father. Limitations 3 and 40 says, let us search out and examine our ways and turn back to the Lord. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you help us to see the areas where we compromise, Lord. Help us to un see the areas that needs to be uncovered, God. Lord, uncover the hidden things that do not please you within our lives. Amen. So listen, until next time, know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional, love on purpose, and look in the mirror. Blessings.